The tax collector. Artists must be able to live from their work if they wish to do so. Only the individual or collective author of scientific, literary or artistic work can benefit from the protection of the corresponding material interests. Under existing international treaties, corporate entities are also protected as owners of intellectual property rights. However, as they are of a different nature, they cannot be protected at the level of human rights as the rights of authors can. UN Committee on Economic, Social and Cultural Rights Basically, the traffic in authors' rights by publishers, recording companies and royalties management societies does not protect the interests of authors. Public interest is served by supporting and ensuring ongoing creation of intellectual works because of its significant social value and by ensuring that all citizens have unfettered access to such works for a wide range of uses. Authors' rights, royalties and similar incentives should not be considered to be a fair wage or an end in themselves, but rather a creative stimulus and a means to promoting public interest and innovation. No creativity or collection is not what we want. In order to promote fair remuneration for artists, the role of middlemen should be restricted. Like any other workers, creators should receive fair pay for their creative activities as employees. In the case of the commercial exploitation of the work, economic regulations should protect the financial interests of creative communities and ensure that third parties, such as the cultural industry, do not prevent creative communities from obtaining a fair share of the profits.